Have you ever been streaming and your game is like this? It seems like you just can't get those audio levels right, no matter how hard you try. People either can't hear you over the game, or you turn it down so much that you can't even hear the game you're playing anymore. Hey YouTube, my name is James Hodges, welcome back to the channel, hope you're doing well, and let's show you how to correctly set your audio levels so this never happens again. So what is it exactly we're going to do? We're going to be using a streaming software like Streamlabs or OBS, because they actually have an automated audio ducking slash dipping level thing inside the program that does all the volume controls for you. But what does that even mean? What this will do, it will allow you to set the gameplay level at a volume that you can hear it, your audience can hear it, but then as soon as you start talking, the gameplay will go like this, allowing you to talk so everybody can hear word for word what you're saying. Because to be honest, it's so much more important that the audience can hear you over the gameplay you're playing. Now let's jump in and show you exactly how this is done. I've created a new scene that is very, very simple to hopefully allow you guys to see exactly what's going on and make things easier to understand. Over in the mixer, I only have two things. I have my desktop audio, which comes through my headphones, and then my microphone that will go through voice mod so I can do things like this. Hello, is anyone there? Ho, 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 Merry Christmas. <laughs> If you want to know how to do that, then I did a video on that recently, so make sure you check that out. The desktop audio in my case is the game, my Discord, it, all things like that. Anything that I will hear through my headphones that I will also want the viewers to hear too. You need to click this little cog icon next to the audio split that you would like to reduce. In this case, it would be my desktop. In your case, it might be a gameplay or something similar. You need to go to filters, click the plus button, and then scroll down on the drop menu until you see compressor. We then need to give it a name. In this case, I'll just go with audio ducking. We now see all of these things in front of us that we need to have a play around to make this work for us. I'll go through all of these now, but please note that some of these will need to be slightly different to suit your current setup. Right, so at the top we have ratio. This is basically the amount you'd like the audio to be reduced by when you start talking. So here we have 10. So that means the audio will come down by 10%. You might want this even lower if you're playing like a really loud game, so you might push it to 15, but in my case, I like it quite subtle. I'm gonna go for 5%. Next up, we have threshold. This one basically means when your voice reaches a certain level, that's when the audio will start to come down. This hugely depends on obviously your microphone, how loud you are. You might be a really, really quiet talker, or you might have a big bellowing voice which means obviously you want to adjust that to suit. I usually speak fairly loudly, so I'm going to bring this about to minus 40. So you might be wondering, James, how do I know what number to select for my threshold? Now, annoyingly, this is a little bit of a guessing game when it comes to Streamlabs, but it can be very, very easy to see on OBS. All you need to do is go over to your mixer, talk, and you'll see that the bar goes up and down every single time you talk. Underneath, you'll see some numbers, so when you're talking about reaches, for example, minus 30, minus maybe, maybe 35 or something similar will be the number for you. But on Streamlabs, this is a bit of a guesswork. So like I said, have a play around, play around with this number and see what works best for you. Attack. This is the speed you want your audio to dip slash duck once you start talking. So it's the transition from the loudness to it getting quieter. And note that this is in milliseconds. I like this longer than most people because I want to hide that transition to keep everything nice and smooth and almost unnoticeable. Release. This is very similar to attack, but instead of it being at the start of us talking, it's just after we're talking. So this is when we're going from a low level gameplay back up to normal once we finish talking. Output gain. Leave this as it is. This is where you can lower or increase the volume of your gameplay. But to be honest, you want to leave that and, and change those settings in your mixer. Lastly, we have this drop down at the bottom. You need to select your microphone so Streamlabs know that when this microphone starts talking, that's when we can start using all these settings above that we just had to play around with. Now let's see if this has all worked. Now, as you'll see guys, you may, may be very subtle, but really I'll start talking, the gameplay's gone down. And when I stop talking, you notice the gameplay and then look, it's gone straight back down. That's exactly what we are after.
So now we've done all that, and if the levels still don't sound right, then all you need to do is jump back into those settings that we were just going through and adjust them accordingly to suit your needs. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button and the subscribe button and that little bell thing. There's so many things you need to do these days. But guys, I'll see you in the next one.